we'll be making uh, forward-looking statements today, and, and the details are um, in this fine print. You can find it on our website um, and also in our SEC filings. So we're a silver company, not a gold company. We're based in Golden, Colorado, thus the name. And we intend to increase shareholder value through a number of projects that we're engaged in. Um, and you know, first and foremost, we have production scale assets. Uh, in Mexico, we have the Velardena District, which is uh, a series of two plants and, and a mine. Uh, we see how to put that back in production profitably, and we intend to do so. Uh, we're also uh, going to update the, uh, the PEA this quarter to show what those economics will look like. As, as we uh, go forward also, we're looking uh, to spend someone else's money in Argentina on our El Cavar asset. It's a great asset, um, but as you know, Argentina is a bit challenged these days. And we, uh, we found somebody we think we can move it forward without costing us money. So we'll be doing that. And meanwhile, we're, we're uh, also looking to place one of our smaller projects that's also profitable, the Santa Maria in Chihuahua State, Mexico, with a small company, Magellan Gold Resources. They have the option on that, and we expect them to, to exercise sometime this spring. We'll also move forward our exploration properties in Mexico, Nevada, and uh, somewhat in Argentina on a low scale. A bit about the company, we're listed both on the uh, NYSE American and on the TSX. Uh, recent share price around 30 cents, I think it closed at 28 on Friday. Um, we, we've run up from about 20 cents just after uh, Thanksgiving, so a pretty nice run. Uh, falling back a little bit. Uh, we're just over 106 uh, million shares outstanding. Um, uh, so not, not, not too, too many out there. Um, and we have cash in the bank. So why invest in gold minerals? Well, for one, we're revenue generating. And we have been for about the last three, four years. And we're doing this via leasing out our plant, uh, our oxide plant to Hecla Mining Company it's been making us about five million bucks a year um, in, in um, um, operating revenue, operating margin. Um, that lease runs out this year, but there's ways that uh, we're planning to extend and actually make more from that plant by mining our Rodeo deposit. I'll, I'll talk about that a bit. We have uh, extensive resources, um, about just under 80 million uh, silver equivalent ounces in resource um, in M&I. And, &I, and uh, on the order of uh, 40 million uh, silver equivalent in the inferred categories. So when you add them up, um, you know, there's more than an ounce of silver equivalent per share of gold mineral stock. Uh, so significant value. It's in the ground. It costs money to get out, but significant value. Cash, this is as of Q3. Uh, since then, we've, we've sold some properties in Mexico that we didn't need. Uh, sold them for $3 million, uh, substantial income cash income, so that puts us in a good position to move forward. Now we have uh, zero debt, a strong pipeline of properties, uh, as I mentioned, in, in Mexico, Argentina, Nevada, and a very experienced uh, board of directors and management. A bit of history in terms of the, uh, the silver price versus gold mineral share price. This chart moves from uh, 2016 to present, and you can see in blue is the price of silver and in, in red, the price of gold mineral shares. Last time when uh, silver made the move from $14 an ounce to 20, gold minerals moved from 16 cents to over a dollar. It's a pretty nice move, over 5X, eh? And so you can see that uh, since then, gold minerals has trended down. We, we have not moved up significantly in the current increase in price in silver. We expect to. We only just started to move up after Thanksgiving, so that's got a long way to run, and most of the juniors are in a similar position. Our, our shareholder structure, we have a strong shareholder base, uh, underpinned uh, about uh, uh, just under 40% ownership by a, a private equity group, Sentient, out of uh, Australia, and just under 50% institutional, with the rest public float. So I want to talk about the Velardena opportunity. This is a, a district that we picked up in a merger with ECU, a Quebec company, 
in uh, 2011. It was in production then. We shut it down in 2013 in a declining price environment. We started up again in 2015 in a better price environment and shut it down later in that year as prices moved back down, prices of silver moved back down below $14. Now as prices are moving up, things are looking interesting, and, but the, the really substantial change here is how we can get more value from the gold uh, credits in this deposit. One of the big challenges we had before was poor gold payables from a poor gold recovery. The gold is, is refractory in nature, held in pyrite, arsenopyrite. We, we found that uh, biooxidation can solve that problem. We have recent test results that we just released showing that biooxidation and then subsequent cyanide treatment can yield over 90% recovery for gold and silver which will translate to high 80% payable. That compares with uh, under 20% payable the last time we operated. And that difference on a four to five gram per ton gold grade in the ore will make all the difference in the world for this project. So we expect to show that in the PEA that will be released later this year, uh, this quarter, sorry. Uh, we think uh, about the end of February. So before PDAC, we should have those numbers firmly in hand and be able to share them with you. Uh, there's plenty of resource here, and the resource is high grade. Uh, you can see in the chart, um, you know, the measured and indicated is about a million and a half tons, over 300 grams silver, four to five grams gold. That's plenty of value, even in a narrow mine setting, to be potentially economic. That's enough resource to run in measured and indicated for 15 years at the kind of plant capacities that we have. And it's, it's potentially a very interesting money maker. So that's, that's you know, a big catalyst for gold minerals. Um, I expect to have positive results coming up this year, and we'll move it forward as quickly as we can. There's a picture of our oxide plant that's leased out to Hecla, and uh, I told you a bit about that. Um, what we have in place to come into production potentially as Hecla moves out at the end of the year is a Rodeo gold deposit. It's about a 50,000 ounce gold deposit that we control uh, with a very nice grade, open pit mineable, low cost, within trucking distance. And we think we can make much more money on that over the interim period while we get the Velardania operation up and running. One project I'm really interested in and that we're uh, getting ready to drill, we have permits in hand. Uh, it's in Nevada, in the gold districts of Nevada. You can see here on this map, it's not far from uh, Twin Creeks, from um, uh, the old sleeper deposit, which is a very interesting open pit gold system. It's an epithermal gold silver vein system that we picked up, we're earning into. Uh, we're gonna drill it uh, starting, I think, next week. Um, and uh, we have some great targets here. We're showing some of the strike length of the, uh, the, the, the the geochem anomalies that we're going to test and the magnetic uh, pattern of the alteration system that, that tells us this is significant. Um, the KVAR silver dis district is huge. Uh, we're showing here two very large high sulfidation alteration systems there. We've only uh, drilled a small part of it with the Yachte deposit in red. There's lots more potential and with a partner here we can continue to have interesting discoveries. The PA results are interesting. It's potentially a five million ounce silver producer per year at very good cost structure. It's just not quite big enough. We can make it bigger and uh, we think our partner can help us do that. You can see here of Western Hemisphere silver deposits, number nine in the list. It's uh, significant at uh, just under a half kilo silver per ton grade. So catalysts going forward in, in 2020, you know, look for announcement of a partner in KVAR the drilling at uh, Nevada at Sand Canyon, the PEA at Velardania, uh, the exercise of the option on Santa Maria, uh, Rodeo permitting results moving forward into potential production end of the year, and another drill project in Mexico. Thank you very much.